and we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you a simple text slide in animation. First I'm going to create a background so I click new item like video and I use the default size for YouTube videos 9020 x 1080 I click on OK and drag it into my timeline. You could also use a video as a background so it doesn't really matter it's just for this tutorial. I know we size that background a little bit, 10 seconds should be enough. I press T for the type tool, or you can click on the T icon, type in something into your preview window. If you want to adjust it, it's best to use the graphics layout or go to edit. And there you can pick, for example, a color with the eyedropper tool. Change the font, change the style, or put it in center. And you've got many other options to adjust this text to your liking. Once you've got what you want, just click on editing again to switch back to the editing layout. Resize your text element in the timeline so that it has the same duration as the background. And now we'll create this line, this vertical line that you've seen in the intro. Just right click new item color mat and use the same color with the eyedropper tool as your text has. Put it into the timeline, resize it. Now we need effect controls. If you can't find that, go to window, click on it and uncheck uniform scale. The height, it needs to be bigger than your text. So in this case, What would be a good value, like 16, 17, something like this is fine. The scale width, let me go to 1 and you can see it, it's a little bit too thin. For this font and style, I guess 2 would be fine, 5 would be way too big. So find something that you like, for me it's 17 and 2. Now adjust the position that you're on the left hand side of the text, something like this. And now I use the cut tool to create the first blinking effect. Just use the arrow keys to the right. I use like two forward, then three forward, two and three again, so that I have these gaps. And now it looks like it's blinking. And now I wanna move it to the right hand side, so we need an animation for that. Select this bigger part and the timeline, click on the clock icon next position, go a little bit forward, maybe like 5 seconds, move it to the right. A new keyframe is automatically generated. Let me go back and I'll run it. But that's way too slow so I'll have to reposition this keyframe a little bit and make it faster. So it blinks and then it moves from left to right. And the speed should be fine. In the end, I want to have it blinking again, so I once again use the cut tool for that. So it blinks, it moves to the right hand side, and then it blinks again, and then I want it. To be non-visible for now, don't worry about the part here on the right hand side, we'll need that afterwards. For now the text is just static, so let us use a cropping effect and drag and drop it on the text element. Once again, if you don't see the effects, go to window, click on it, and here's the cropping. But you can only see it when you've got the text element active, so make sure that you've clicked on that. All right, let us go to the starting position where our vertical line moves. You can find it with the first keyframe. We'll switch back to the text element, find the cropping, and we need to right crop. Let's start right here at around 93, 92%. So that's where we don't see any text. Start the animation with the clock icon, and then go forward with the arrow keys to the right. And every time you go forward one step, just decrease the crop for the right, but not too much. In this case, 
91 and let's go for the next keyframe just press enter then the arrow key to the right go down to 90 press enter again so that's what you have to do now go always one step forward with the arrow keys and then adjust the cropping so that it fits and you only want to have the text visible on the left hand side of your vertical line so if you go too far just get up with the percentage for the cropping of the right once more so you can see it takes a little bit of time to achieve this effect even though it's easy to do and it's just repetitive and in this case i just want to speed up this video so that i don't bore you to death All right, so now we've reached the end and we can roll the clip. So it blinks and I move from left to right. The text is revealed, it blinks again and then it's off. If you want to reverse it, it's the same process, but you will obviously have to crank up the cropping on the right hand side with every keyframe, with every step forward. So let me show you this as well. At first we want to create the blinking effect once more. So I use the cut tool again. I use two frames and then three frames for the gaps. Then go to the starting position. Start the animation right here. Then drag the position to the left hand side. A new keyframe is automatically generated for the end. It's a good idea to also use temporal interpolation and ease it in. It makes it a little bit smoother. By default it's just a linear animation. So that's a nice little detail. And next we'll create a blinking effect in the ends and then it's going to turn off fully. All we have to add now is the text cropping and we're good for the blend out or the slide out effect as well. Just go to the starting position of the animation for the position, switch back to the text element. Right here we can cut it so that we don't get confused. Create a keyframe and use the arrow keys to the right hand side to go forward. And then adjust the cropping. So in this case, we need to go up with the percentage so that all of the stuff on the right hand side of this vertical line is covered by the crop and it's going to conceal the text. So once again, one frame forward by using the right key on your keyboard and then go up with the percentage for the right hand cropping. I'm going to speed this video up at this point once more. All right, and we've got it fully covered. And now we've got the reverse effect created. And this is how you can create this text slide in animation effect in Premiere Pro. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.